Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. And this is, again, I say this a lot, but this is actually a different type of reaction. And it's an ongoing meme, I say that a lot. But this is something that I'm actually, firstly, I'm really excited to get into. But it's new to sort of the reactions that I usually do. And it's been suggested, I've, saw, I've seen it a few times suggested in the comments. And someone who watches the channel, who has actually become one of, my, one of my friends, like we talk quite a bit off just about anything really, has been saying this is like a must watch and in terms of reactions you should enjoy this because I've, again I'm not too familiar with this series or this channel but I have looked it up and it says, it says like um, largely unplanned, improvised, as a result has been compared to Louis Theroux which I do enjoy his documentaries, Sasha Baron Cohen who He's one of my favourite comedians, I'm not going to lie. I don't know who Eric Andre is, that's my bad. And she looks familiar. He actually looks very... F so I've probably seen him in shows, I just don't... I can't sort of... Wait, is he on... Is he the guy that I'm thinking of? My voice could crack like crazy as well. Uh, he looks familiar, I just don't I, don't... I don't watch much Netflix and stuff, so that's my bad. But from what I'm seeing there... From who is this is being compared to? I feel like I'm gonna enjoy this a lot. And for those who aren't aware of what this is about, it's basically people being interviewed and being serious about sort of certain topics. And just yeah, we're gonna watch, we're gonna watch. And for those who have seen this before, hopefully you guys go on to enjoy. It. Maybe this could become like a sort of a thing that I can react to a lot, depending on how this goes down. But again, I'm excited because I love Sasha Baron Cohen and I love Louis Theroux. So if this is like a blend between the two, this is gonna be incredible. But Let's just get into this, right? Let's see what this is about. <sighs> and this one is Bigfoot hunting, so I'm assuming this is people <laughs> hunting for Bigfoot, right? This is pretty much um, the pheromone of a female great ape, whether on their menstrual cycle. <laughs> or a female gorilla, female orang that are on their period. And Bigfoot is a great ape as well. So hopefully this will entice them or intrigue them. How did you get this? Actually, I got this from a guy. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the zooming in. Sasquatch pheromone chips, as far as our genetic. Wait, Sasquatch what? Sasquatch pheromone chips, as far <laughs> as our genetics go. We're what? About 99% related to a chimpanzee or something like that. It's not too far off to say that we can't breed in a breed with them. There has to be hybrids in order for their species to be able to thrive. Are you scared yet? No, are you scared? No. <laughs> This can't be for real, man. This can't. There's no way someone does actually does this and believes like calling out is gonna get them. This is great. This is incredible. And this is not even a minute in. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at him just holding. Come out, come out and play. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this editing is incredible though. Dylan. They're not going to give out their position. They know we're here. If there is a, a family group that's in here, maybe they're thinking like, hey, whoa, what's going on? You know, they're smart. <laughs> Minnesota Bigfoot research team. They know we're here. Most of the time, they know we're here. And that's why we try to keep on switching it up and switching it up. What we're doing is we're, he did two knocks. Now that we're going back farther and deeper, we're going to do three knocks. It's like kind of like Morse cold, I guess you could say. Are you ready for this, Andrew? <laughs> Morse code. <laughs> Fucking sass witches. Of. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, you hear that? What is going on? There's no way this is real. I'm sorry. I mean, it is, but I can't. How do people do this? I mean, fair play, you've got your hobbies, right? And I'm not going to come at you for that, because do what you got to do in it. But <laughs> this is unreal. What's he doing? <laughs> Minnesota Bigfoot research team. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
You're probably Fucking wondering up. how I got here. It's been a crazy year. 2020, right? I was beginning to lose my mind. So I drove my camper van as far north as I could. <laughs> oh, this I is stumbled unreal. across a small town with a secret too big to hide. So I hit the streets to find some answers and figure out what the hell is going on in Reamer, Minnesota. <laughs> I've smashed a monster can that wasn't opened over my head and it didn't bust open right away, so I had to do it twice and it hurt, but I didn't care. My dad was born like on 9 11, like his birthday is 9 1 1. My dad's pretty fucking scary. My name is Joshua Townley, I'm 14 years old. My favorite video game is Black Ops 2, Call of Duty, and my favorite rapper is YNW Melly. Yeah, my fucking favorite rapper is YNW Melly. All these pussy niggas hating trying to knock me off my grind. I can't let them do it, I got murder on my mind. Did he? Oh, yes, no, he's saying the words like. You can just say it. What the fuck? I like J. Cole. I think she's full of shit. <laughs> Reamer, the home of Bigfoot. How do you guys feel about that? I've never seen him. I've walked through the woods my entire life. I ain't never seen him. He's not that big of a deal. I'm just walking around trying to find some weed. <laughs> Bigfoot isn't real. I've never seen it. It's all hearsay. Bigfoot is not real. Bigfoot is not real. No. Why not? I don't know. I do believe in swamp babe, but not necessarily Bigfoot. The mock, like mockery of just a small town making it into something to make money. I mean, we're on the border of a reservation, and all of a sudden now we got Bigfoot. Cool. <laughs> I began to realize something wasn't right. Every person in this town had a rhyme or reason for why this thing wasn't real, and why I wasn't a good enough journalist to get this job done. But in the 11th hour, I met a badass motel owner with the balls to tell me the truth. I'm loving this. So if they're much. saying they're non-believers, they haven't stepped out from their office or off their couch. Right. You know, I've, I've had sightings. You know, I've seen three. Three screams, two whistles, and a knock. And then I whistled back, and I got another whistle, and I got a wood knock, and then a sneeze. I keep forgetting about the sneeze. Then there was a sneeze. God dang it. It's more intriguing than anything, but it's frustrating in the same breath because I can't seem to pin these things down. They're not stupid, not by any means. We're not the only bipedal intelligence here. Do you think every single person is lying or do you think they've seen something? They've seen something, brother. That's just the way it is. We're trying to figure out movement on this thing. Bigfoot, the real Bigfoot, he was hairy and furry and big. He must go fast because people see him in other <laughs> states. I was out going out my deer stand and <laughs> came up, looked all shrunk in and like looked like he was hungry. And I was like, what, what do you need? And he just went, uh -huh, like that. My first experience what with Bigfoot, I was 16 years of age back in 1976. Have you ever been on, in, a gar in a garbage dump with a rotten fish? Yes. That's what it smells like. <laughs> we were chilling in the woods, you know, smoking a blunt and fucking hello, just noise, bro from the woods and rustles and shit like that. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> reaction. Uh, Bigfoot are very sensitive souls. Bigfoot lives matter. Well, oh, they had the riots God. and the looting and uh, since they were okay to have protests there, we thought, well, we can have a protest here too. <laughs> I mean, they're not there to be hunted. It's just supposed to be searched for. <laughs> the awkward energy is killing me. <laughs> Uh, Abe Del Rio, also known as Elusive One in the Bigfoot community, is the founder and director of the Minnesota Bigfoot Research Team. That's who I am. I got chased by one back in 2001. <laughs> so is there one Bigfoot or is there multiple big feet? Multiple big feet throughout the whole United States except for Hawaii. Why? Well, Hawaii is a volcanic island. It wasn't a part of Pangea when all the continents were together. How many big feet do you think are currently active in the continental United States? I would, I would say over 50,000. <laughs> yeah. I love him pretending to be serious, man. It knows these trails like the back of its hand. Maybe they'll feel more comfortable as the sun's setting to come a little more closer and approach us. Hopefully we'll get a young one coming. Who knows? That's what we're looking for. This one is not. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Now we were definitely being followed. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Whatever it was, it was big and it was just swaying back and forth. 
what we seen was something big and dark, and it was kind of doing an emotion like this. Pretty likely we had a class A. What do you think it was? <laughs> it was a class A. I think it was Bigfoot. <laughs> you guys were right behind us. <laughs> Why is that your first assumption? It's just Bigfoot. There's so many animals out there. It could be a bear. I mean, I don't know, I don't know what um, wildlife there is in the US, but I know there's some crazy sort of like wildlife out there in comparison to the UK. So there's so many options as to what it could be. I mean, firstly, they probably didn't actually see anything. But secondly, if you did, why is your first assumption Bigfoot? <laughs> why? You saw Bigfoot, and we didn't. <laughs> as soon as you guys got over, we looked back and gone. Oh, my God. <laughs> are you are you disappointed that you... Are you disappointed yeah, you didn't, you didn't yeah. see Bigfoot? I am. I am. I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. It, and that's the story of my life, the way it's been for the past... 20 some years now. That's classic Sasquatch behavior. Squatch on! <laughs> I tell you what, I'm gonna have to check out a lot of this guy's channel. This was incredible. <laughs> this one, there was no footage of Bigfoot rapping. I'm gonna come back to the comments here, but I just need to what? see sort of the content that he does. Proud Boys Rally, Florida Man, Minneapolis protests, 4th of July. So he does a lot of. Um, just these interview sort of documentary type videos then I'm going to have to check a lot more of this guy's channel out because I, I really really enjoyed this you know it's a bit different to what you usually do but this stuff is just it's just the memes isn't it just the pure memes <laughs> this bit this kills me this is pretty much um, the pheromone of a female grade ape whether or not they're mentioned <laughs> why do you just carry that about with you like it's nothing man that's the most legendary poker face that's ever existed this man deserves a Netflix a show on Netflix. Honestly, I mean, I'll tell you what, if all of his videos are like this, for sure, man. This is incredible. These kids smoking a butt in the woods heard these exact people and thought they were some big for stuff. I mean, they're probably just high, aren't they? Imagine camping in the woods in this town. <laughs> just, you just wake up seeing people searching for, like, a Bigfoot. It's just the craziest thing. How does he keep a straight face during his interviews? Guy said there's 50,000 Bigfoot and he kept... <laughs> straight face. Just realised they're screaming, knocking, and whistling at each other. <laughs> this is incredible, man. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want more of this stuff, please let me know. This is new for my sort of reactions, but if this goes down well, I'm probably going to react to more. I'm going to react to more of it anyway. But depending on how you guys enjoy this, depends how quickly I'll do the next reactions, etc. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and until next time, like, subscribe, and peace.